So I just came from Value Village. That was the last video that you saw. And I spotted a yard sale sign. So I am here at the yard sale. So let's go check it out and see if I can find any vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. Possibly put in a whatnot sale or keep for myself. Let's go check it out. It's a nice stool. A little bit of damage. Bath and body works. I think that's for an iron. England. It's really pretty. There's no price on it. This is an interesting piece. It's very light. Oh, it's plastic. Hmm. Canadian buttons. Mika. It's kind of cool. A nice little dash. Some Fire King, too bad they're really worn. Some toys and seashells. The hound's tooth. Mud mask for dry skin, sealed. Clays, bentonite. It's got some good ingredients. Wonder how much they want for that. I think I'll grab that for myself. Thought maybe that was Tupperware, but it's not. Well, I'm going to see how much they want for this mud mask. All I got at the yard sale was the mud mask. It was $1. So I am now at Village Green MCC Thrift Store. So let's go on in here and see if I can find any vintage items. Let's go check it out. Let's see if there's anything new in the case. So now it's got the lock and key. It's a little bit, a little bit rough shape for resale, but it's nice that it has the, the lock and the key. A celluloid mirror, French ivory, some thermoses. What is this? Knives, some type of knife set. Inkwell. 
It's an old flute. Fifteen dollars for six pieces. They do really well with these. In really nice condition. I could probably sell this whole set for about three times as much. So I think I will grab these. See what's in the little cabinet here. Japan as is. Some cute little shakers. Little hobbyist piece. Is that a teapot? Yeah. Three dollars. It's pretty cute. No chips or cracks. Yeah, I think I'll grab that for three dollars. This one does look like it has some age. Cute little trinket dish, $3. There's a beaded purse. That's vintage. Uh, $7. Made in Hong Kong. A little bit of staining on the inside. A couple uh, that's cute. I think I'll I think I'll leave that one today. Some little Chinese dishes. That looks like celluloid, maybe celluloid and bakelite. Some manicure kit. There's some little tin toys, nine dollars. There's three of them in there. So that's not too terrible. That'd be three dollars each. Definitely some age on those. I think I will grab them. Some little planters. Some booties. That's probably Avon. Some bear salt and pepper shakers. Little decoy. Oh, that's kind of cute. Decoy salt and pepper shakers. Just one? Oh, uh, no. No, there's more in there. Hmm. $5, two pieces. It's cute. Spotted some Pyrex, a whole set here. $40 for three pieces. They look like they're in pretty good condition. I have glasses that match this picture. A little bit of dishwasher wear on that one though. There's another complete set, $80 with the original box. Waffle molds and here's some tins. Missing one lid. Got some cute little displays here, some little 
Tupperware set. Eight pieces for $15. So cute. Little piggy bank, $3. That's definitely got some age. Little metal cooking set. It's a nice vintage display. I like this little bottle, Milky Way. I think that's milk of magnesium. It's a cute little bottle, three dollars. Be fun for a bathroom display. We'll grab that. It's an old bowl. I think this is an old curling iron. You would heat that up and then curl, curl your hair with it. There's some more up here. That's for an iron. Three dollars for that. This is kind of cool. I don't know how old it is. Oh, it looks vintage. Okay, interesting piece. Maybe it's just a reproduction. It does look like it has age. I only want eight dollars for it. It's cool. Hmm. I'm gonna think about that one. I don't sell a lot of primitive items. Someone's probably a school picture. Antique French bread warmer. Some Halloween. These kind of look like they have age. Not super old, but they look like they're vintage. 80s or 90s, maybe. These two look maybe a little bit older. Door. Piece to put on your door. though. This cat is great. And it's got a little cat and moon votive holder on it. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty big, but it's pretty great. I think these are vintage. It's turkeys. My total was $30 even. I didn't find a whole lot, but I should do pretty good with those electrical outlet covers. I've sold quite a few of those and being that they're all matching and brass in really nice condition and ornate, I should do really well with them. So, so that'll be good. So that is everything for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.